Hello well wishers and welcome to my channel Aspiring Minds. In today's video we are going to discuss Matthew Arnold's poem to Margaret Continued. So grab your virtual seats and let's begin. Matthew Arnold was a famous English poet and a cultural critic of the Victorian era. He is best known for his reflective and philosophical poetry which often explored the themes of being isolated, alienated and the search for meaning in the modern world. His works often reflect his concerns about the decline of faith and the erosion of traditional values in society. We also see how this is done in his other poem called The Dover Beach as well. To Margaret Continued is a poem that reflects Arnold's existential concerns and his exploration of the human condition. It is a continuation of his earlier poem to Margaret where he reflects on the isolation and separation that is often experienced by human beings. So we see that this poem on a central level is going to talk about the theme of wanting connection with others. Arnold explores how human beings constantly feel lonely and they need someone to you know be able to connect to someone which is always not possible because of the forces of nature luck fortune fate etc let us now look at the line by line meaning of each stanza of the poem yes in the sea of life and isled with echoing straits between us thrown dotting the shoreless watery wild we mortal millions live alone the islands feel the enclasping flow and then their endless bounds they know so what do we see over here in this stanza matthew arnold begins by describing human condition which i told you about how we are all alone isolated in the sea of life he compares human existence to islands separated by vast expanses of water if you observe any place where there are a lot of islands you will see that each island is quite you know located quite at a distance from the other so similarly each individual is like an island surrounded by the echoing straits of loneliness and separation occasionally yes there are straits which help us to connect from one place to another but otherwise we are all separate individuals despite living among countless others like you know he mentions the term mortal millions we live among people millions of people yet individuals feel lonely the islands which represent human beings only become aware of their boundaries when they feel the water which encircles around it stanza 2 but when the moon their hollows lights and they are swept by balms of spring and in their gleams on starry nights the nightingales divinely sing and lovely notes from shore to shore across the sounds and channels pour so here in stanza 2 arnold continues by describing the moments of beauty and solace or peace which we experience for a brief moment whenever we are feeling isolated he speaks of how the moonlight bathes the islands in the light and the arrival of spring brings soothing pleasant breeze in the quiet of the night the song of the nightingales fills the area creating a sense of divine beauty and connection it you know helps to establish that oneness through nature the music of the nightingales over here symbolizes the fleeting moment of that temporary relief that human beings experience when they are amidst nature or oh, then a longing like despair is to their farthest cavern sent for surely once they feel we were parts of a single continent now round us spreads the watery plain Oh might our marges meet again 
So here we see in stanza 3 Matthew Arnold expresses a deep longing for connection and unity among individuals. He describes how during moments of beauty, peace and harmony, the islands yearn or crave for a time when they were a part of a single landmass. It is said when you go back to the first chapter you've ever read of geography, you will see how Pangaea and Panthesia or something like that were the landmasses. Then it broke down into several, um, you know, other land masses which then led to the formation of continents try to remember that you know time when you read that in your geography chapter so that is being talked about over here the separation caused by the watery plain that now divides the human beings or the islands evokes a sense of sadness despair and longing Arnold over here expresses the desire for the marges. Marges means the margins of the island to meet once again, symbolizing how he is wanting a connection or a unity, that earlier system to be established once again. I don't know how many of y'all remember your geography textbooks. This is what is I was talking about, that is how. The world had a large landmass which included Pangaea, Laurasia, Eurasia, Gondwana and there were only two water bodies which is the Panthalassa Ocean and the Tethys Sea and then gradually all these broke down into smaller continents that we have today. That is a theory of geography. So that is what you know Matthew Arnold is also saying that let's go back to a time when everything was just one big landmass where everyone stayed together with utmost unity there was no division whatsoever whether physically or whether on a mental level in terms of the mindset of the people who ordered that their longing fire should be as soon as kindled, cooled, who renders vain their deep desire, a god, a god their severance ruled, and bade betwixt their shores to be, the unplumbed, salt, estranging sea. So we see that in the final stanza, the poet reflects on how separation is something that cannot be ignored, and the forces that can you know govern human existence we cannot do anything beyond that because the reality is that we are all separated from one another Arnold questions the purpose behind this longing this sense of you know missing connection when ultimately we cannot get it he suggests that there is a higher power symbolized by God who controls the separation between individuals and the vast expanse of the sea despite longing for unity the sea is yes a barrier and it cannot be crossed however even if there is a physical barrier human beings should still strive to try and live together for you know an overall betterment for an overall connectedness which the poet wants so in the poem, to discuss quickly the major themes, we see that the poem explores the theme of isolation, how human beings are all disconnected from one another. Therefore, he is longing for connection. He wants human beings to surpass the barriers, whatever these barriers may be. And these barriers, I'll tell you, are increasing in today's times. We see that these human beings they don't want to live together there is a constant selfish urge to fulfill your own motives and in doing that there is a lot of gap that is being witnessed in relationships so therefore we see how the poem is relevant even in today's time and we see how there will be moments of beauty where you will feel a connection with nature which will temporarily help you to overcome that feeling of loneliness so we see that one is nature and the other is the idea of god which is there that can help you to have the human beings connected to one another once again
So that's it from this video. I hope you liked it. Do hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more such future updates. Thank you for watching. Bye.